is staying out where he's punching has so much power. Watch for his left hook and his uppercut when he gets inside. And Mike will hit you anytime. He'll hit you coming in, he'll hit you on the break, he'll hit you with a looping right in, he'll hit you with a left hook. This is the Mike Tyson that we saw so effective, knocking out 33 of his opponents. dressing room five minutes before I come out my gloves are laced up I'm breaking my gloves down I'm, I'm pushing the lever in the back of my I'm breaking the middle of the gloves so my knuckle can pierce through the leather I feel my knuckle piercing against the tight leather gloves on the Everlast boxing glove when I come out I have supreme confidence I'm scared to death I'm totally afraid I'm afraid of everything I'm afraid of losing I'm afraid of being humiliated but I'm totally confident the closer I get to the ring the more confident I get the closer, more confidence I get. The closer, more confidence I get. All during my training, I've been afraid of this man. I thought this man might be capable of beating me. I've dreamed of him beating me. That old guy always stayed afraid of him. But the closer I get to the ring, I'm more confident. Once I'm in the ring, I'm a god. God. I'm a true champion. I walk around the ring, but I never, I never take my eyes off my opponent. I keep my eyes on him, even if he's ready and pumping. He can't wait to get his hands on me as well. I keep my eyes on him. I keep my eyes on him. I keep my eyes on him. Then once I see a chink in his arm, boom! And one of his eyes may move, and then I know I have him. Then when he comes to the center of the ring, he still looks at me with his piercing look, and as if he's not afraid, afraid, afraid. But he already made that mistake when he, when he looked down for that one-tenth of a second. I know I had him. He'll fight hard for the first two or three rounds. I know I already broke his spirit. Spirit, 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 spirit. During the fight, I'm supremely confident. I'm moving my head. He's throwing punches. I'm making a miss and I'm countering. I'm hitting him to the body. I'm punching real hard. And I'm punching him. And I'm punching him. I know he's not able to take my punches. One, two, three punches. I'm throwing him butt punches and bunches. He goes down. He's out. I'm victorious. Victorious, victorious, Mike Tyson, great fighter, have to live, have to live. He had the need because he wasn't getting any love in his life until he was 13 years old. Has horrible life. Then all of a sudden he gets adopted by one of the greatest boxing minds of all time, who's also a hypnotist, and takes him when he's at his most vulnerable. He's mo his mo he like he's has mo the most need, right? He's a, like he's on his own, and this fucking guy turns him into one of the greatest fighters the world's ever seen. The Tyson of that year, the, those years when he was like the Marvis Frazier years and the Larry Holmes years, he was a different, different guy. 
It's like a, a different model of fighter than we had ever seen in the heavyweight division before. A fucking destroyer, man, where every fight was an execution. I mean, just ferocious, destructive, accurate, precise. Everything is perfect. perfect. The technique is perfect, so strong. And then desire, he had everything. He had heart and he had just destructive power. That for those years, man, there's very few people that were ever like that were ever like that were ever like that. Dude, he was prison jacked. That was like maybe the scariest Tyson ever. Like they finally <laughs> released him and all he'd been doing in jail is because I don't think he could box in jail. So I think he was just lifting weights. Yeah. Dude, he looks terrifying. That was the most terrifying looking Tyson ever. He just looked like he was made out of steel. Just a tank wow, of a man. And I'll never forget the fucking weigh-in, or uh, the uh, stare-down, rather, because during the stare-down, but you could see it in Tyson's face when he's staring him down. There's this crazy, pr he's following him everywhere he goes, like a predator, <laughs> dude. It's like a predator who can't wait to get the green light to let the it's genie out of the bottle. Bottle, bottle. I was gonna rip his heart out, I'm the best ever I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been There's no one can stop me Lynx is a conqueror, no, I'm Alexander, he's no Alexander I'm the best ever, there's never been anybody ruthless I'm Sonny Liston, I'm Jack Dempsey, there's no one like me I'm from their claw, there's no one that can match me My style is impetuous, my defense is impregnable And I'm just ferocious, I want your heart, I want to eat his children Praise be to Allah, Allah, Allah A 38-year-old Larry Holmes cannot continue that round at the round. Oh, a big right hand, and down goes the former champion. He was there, right in the button. The count is up to six, seven, and eight. Larry is hurt. I don't know if he's going to be able to survive this round. He's definitely hurt. His legs have gone, and in comes Mike. It was a big right hand. Larry's down again. Down he goes. I don't know if he'll be able to continue. It's up to four, and five, his eyes are clear. It's up to seven and eight. He's going to be able to continue. Tyson knows he has him in trouble. It's just a matter of time. Larry will not survive this round. He's trying to fight back with everything he has. He's trying desperately, but this is not the same age man that was able to do it against Ronaldo Spikes. He goes with a big right hand, the left hook, while he stays on his feet, showing tremendous height. They were wrong, big time. But it was also you—you—you you, you, you might have been short, but you—you have the best style, and Cuss developed that with you. The best style to deal with the fact that you were shorter, the bobbing and the weaving, the constant pressure. Exactly. But I believe um, style is relevant. I believe it's the the morale behind the style. Mm -hmm. I think success in fighting in life is about desire and the will. Yeah. How bad do you want it? Do you want it? Do you want it? 